Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today we're going to work on a, a relatively new Ambassador. It's the 5600SX. It was sent in to me by James uh, from Wyoming. The uh, reel seems to be working okay, except when you go to trip the free spool, it has a hang up here. It kind of loads, but then you get one of these almost like a a chipped feeling and, and I haven't had that before so this video is really going to be about problem diagnosis first and foremost certainly if we can fix the issue on during the uh, time we have without any parts needed or that we'll go ahead and do that but this is kind of an odd one the reel is in good condition he does have braid on it uh, that shouldn't cause the issue and uh, we'll start by taking off the pieces and get to that inner inner part of the reel so I'm going to start by removing that little collar that holds the handle nut on. And uh, while I'm taking the external pieces off, I want to encourage all of you to subscribe to my channel. And if you do enjoy my channel, uh, then hit the notification button as well. That'll let you know when I post videos and uh, what kinds of videos I'm posting. I know we've got all kinds that come, everything from uh, ultralight fresh water to round bait casters like this one to big trolling reels. And those notifications will let you know when I've posted the video and I give you an opportunity to determine whether that's one of the ones you want to watch. So please subscribe and please hit that notification button. Well, all the pieces and parts I take off go into a parts tray. It's the bottom of a fast food container and it helps me to locate all, all of the pieces when it's time for reassembly. I also take pictures along the way and I recommend that you do the same. Those pictures are invaluable in helping you to determine where the uh, orientations are of the parts and uh, how you took them off so that you can see how they go in. So use your cell phone, use a digital camera, take a video if you like, and uh, you'll do things like this where we need to figure out what the drag stack is underneath. There's at least one tension washer here. There's another one underneath that. I'm going to uh, just take that one tension washer off you're going to remember the stack. If you can't remember where you took the pieces and parts from, then get a schematic for the reel. And if you go right to the Abu site, you'll be able to find the schematics for Abu reels. So this is a, uh, a 5600SX. Just put in Ambassador 5600SX, and that, uh, that will tell you what it is. Once you break the three, the hold of the three screws on the side, you should be able to loosen them to where you feel that they are no longer holding and then this side plate should come off and uh, it is coming off I don't see any issues here I was just looking is there something broken uh, in this lever there's not and uh, I'm just going to set that spool assembly aside right now we're doing the problem diagnosis we'll come back and uh, do the rest of the reel but there's no sense starting the reel overhaul and this is a relatively new reel, but uh, starting the reel overhaul, if we haven't figured out why the um, free spool is, is tripping the way that it is. So two more screws hold that back plate on. I'm going to remove those. And most of the Abu ambassadors that you have follow a, a design from the era. So there are three or four different uh, gear designs, but most of them are pretty much the same. They've changed the way that the yoke and the uh, free spool uh, work over time. But for the most part, uh, when, when you work on one of these, you should be able to figure out most of them. And here's the uh, free spool assembly. I'm just going to knock the other tension washer out of here just so I don't lose it. So there were two tension washers up top. There's a instant anti-reverse, and then there's a collar here. So I want to get to this point right here, because this is your trip lever. And I want to see what's happening under the main gear. So if I just remove the main gear, I want to put that back on the stack here. And then I want to just move this mimic as it, were, as it is, if this was working. You're, you got a hole right here, that's where the stud 
from this free spool release is going to go. It's going to go right in this hole. It's going to come up this way underneath. And when you press down, it's going to move it over like this. Well, that appears to be engaging OK. So we want to just see if we can't trip this back by turning this. And that seems to flip well. So I'm not sure if anybody's been underneath here. I don't know maybe if this was offset. It's easy enough to put this down the wrong way. But what I'm going to do while I have this off then is continue with the service. So this one shows you the difference 10 times over in spades, whatever you want to call the, uh, the differences. Almost the entire inside of the modern reel made in China is, well, plastic. And uh, in the past, these have been uh, metal pieces. And, uh, well, plastic just doesn't behave the same way metal does. I am going to flood this assembly with a penetrating oil just to get that loosened up. I'm going to just take a moment here to wipe down the pieces and the parts. I don't believe it's the the actual assembly. It's got to be in a trip. And we're just going to uh, just clean it all up here. I am not a fan of these plastic pieces, but as I mentioned, it's the way life goes sometimes in the change of manufacturing production. All right, we're going to do this again. We'll pull it down, pull it up, pull it down, pull it up, pull it down, pull it up. Okay, we've tested the uh, trip mechanism. We're going to go reinstall, see if the loosening up with that WD-40, cleaning it up a little bit, and maybe even thinking that there's some other issue going on here. Uh, maybe that has been corrected from the work that we've done. We're going to go ahead and reinstall. So, pinion gear, I've, I've taken care of to grease. i going to put that pinion gear in first. That if you look at that, the, it's kind of a V-shape, the V facing up, flat side of the pinion gear facing in, spring holes to accept the spring uh, sitting um, upward, upward facing you. Next up then is this piece, which goes with the main gear. And we have the main gear with the washer goes next. A drag washer on both sides. Check that, make sure that it's nice and tight there, and that it's fitting properly underneath. And we can go ahead and install one of the two bell washers. Bell washers have that uh, bulge in them. Put that on, and then the kind of narrow one goes. We have a eared washer goes next. Make sure when you do that bell washer that the bulge is pointing upward. Here's the next drag washer. The top drag washer. The collar for the anti-reverse. We need the two springs for the yoke assembly. And I would think that if something is going wrong after having greased this and cleaned it and done everything with it, then I think what we would probably would expect is that there's something wrong in the plastic parts, maybe some wear, and uh, we may have to replace those. So let's go ahead and take the, the side plate now. I'm going to center that, bring that in, press down so that the springs get compressed. Hold the back end and the front. We'll get those two small screws. For those of you that watch my channel, you know it's probably time to also go get a cup of coffee because, well, me and these small screws become adventuresome. This one seems to have cooperated better than most. We'll get that one in. If you have a question on this reel or any reel in particular, and uh, maybe you're thinking of buying one, maybe you're uh, working on a reel and you're stuck. Maybe you're just curious about a particular reel. Uh, leave that in the comments section of this video. I do try to answer those. 
And if I know the answer, I will certainly uh, pass that information along to you. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try and point you in the right direction in terms of where you might be able to find out additional information. Okay, we've got that set now. There was the two tension washers. These are not flat washers. They have a curve to them. I like to put them what I call face to face. So the first one, I put the curved side facing inward, and then I reverse that for the top. Then we can go ahead and put the star adjuster on. So I think if you open up this reel, you'll see why people are fans of the Swedish made reels and uh, not so much as the current generation of reels. Just uh, looks like they've tried to save some money at the expense of their reputation. All right, there's a little tension washer that goes between the star adjuster and the handle. The handle is up next. There's a cap nut. That's kind of where we started this. You want to tighten that cap, cap nut down. We have a tie down collar here to hold that nut in place. Pretty much got lucky, you need to line that hole in the tie down with the hole for the screw. Sometimes you just get lucky. And then one more with the screw. So even though this reel mimics the ones made in Sweden, you will not find the words made in Sweden on it. Alright, well, as long as I got the reel open and we've done everything else, let's just come on back here. There is a bearing on the back end of this. You want to make sure that gets oiled. Another plastic part here where the, uh, the braking system. In the past you would find a metal ring and, and leather brakes. Here we just have a, a kind of a molded thing that uh, mimics that on both sides. And uh, note to James, you got too much line on this spool. You should be leaving about an eighth of an inch of line uh, this is going up too high on that. And now what you want to do is you want to bring this point of the, the free spool release, you want to bring it all the way up top. I see already that I have that line kind of tangled in there. Let's meet the two. And now you got to go for that little you want to find the little hole where the throw lever seats properly. I got it. You didn't see it on camera, I'm sure, because I was trying to look over, over that to make sure that it was working properly. But know that you have to thread that. One of the best ways to do that and take the guesswork out of it is to simply press down, set that uh, as part of your uh, reassembly, just set it to trip and that'll give you an easier way to do it. But, but you saw the hole where I inserted this tool to show you how it works. That's where you need to insert the point of this on the way back out. All right, let's test operation first. The operation works. Let's test now. Well, that seemed a little bit firmer, but we'll find out. Oh, well, there you go. We don't have that noise anymore, do we? Well, I'll do it about eight or ten times, but James, I think we've solved your issue. <laughs> I would like to tell you I know exactly why you had that issue, but I don't. Now, just a point of reference here. You just heard that nice click for the free spool release. And sometimes you may not. There it is. Uh, remember that ratchet, that V ratchet on the, the star. If you're not exactly lined 
uh, into that cup. Sometimes this won't go down all the way. That's just the design. So just be aware of that. It'll still work, but when you get that, you know you're set right into that, that uh, piece. All right, so that's it. I kind of had an inside look at this Ambassador 5600SX, uh, made in China, 5.3 to 1. Kind of mimics, if you will, the, um, the Swedish one, but it doesn't have the, uh, the raised bar of the, uh, the badge of the Swedish made ones. Doesn't say made in Sweden anywhere. And if you're looking to buy one of these and you want the Swedish one, then by all means, uh, look for made in Sweden. If it doesn't say made in Sweden, it hasn't been. And uh, that's probably the best advice I could give you. And to James, I think you got a nice reel here. I'm not going to, to say it's, it's a bad reel. I'm just saying as you compare it to the ones that are Swedish made, then uh, you'll find the differences. All right, whatever that little click click was that uh, was causing the issue, that's been resolved. The reel has been overhauled. We put some fresh grease in on it. We showed you how the reel is made and the pieces of parts, how to take it apart, how to uh, work with the reel, and how to get it back out fishing again. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you have a reel like James that needs to be serviced, well, if you send me an email uh, to the e uh, address on the business card that follows, I'll be happy to provide you with some repair information. And to everybody who's helping us during the pandemic, first responders and essential personnel, thank you for everything it is that you do for us and your dedication to task. It truly is appreciated. To everybody, please stay safe, stay well, and stay watching. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.